Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 17. I'm Andy and today we're going to take a first look at the Rathlin Island map. <coughs> I apologize for my voice because I have a slight cold so I'm sort of a little bit... Well, the voice is as it is. So anyway, Rathlin Island um, is I think an uh, Irish place. And um, if we can find the links in the descrip description of course. <coughs> so start out. Um, this is the, f the spawn location, uh, which is the harbor. And this is the vehicle we have. If you look at the vehicles, the only thing we own is the herd and the listed ferry, <coughs> at least on the harbor. And there's no way of spawning, so this is a map where you drive around between places. <coughs> so I'm gonna uh, sort of first drive around the city here. Then I'm gonna take the ferry out to the island. Um, this is a pretty cool place. There's some places we can sell stuff. Um, if we look at the one, you can buy um, gasoline here. Basically, no. We'll take a look here at. I'm just going to change this because I hate that. <coughs> so here is the, the animal feeds. You can buy animals there. You can sell. Uh, sell stuff. Well, you can sell stuff at lumber stairs and dairies and that sort of stuff. Um, if we look at prices here, you can see where you can sell stuff. And what you can sell everywhere. You can see also that we have some other f different kinds of stuff we can sell. And I'm gonna get to that soon. <coughs> so most, well, pretty much everything except the BJ is on the mainland. Uh, so we need to go here to sell stuff. Unless it be, uh, unless it's silage to BJ, which you can sell on the island. There's a power plant there, which is kind of cool. <coughs> God, my voice is really awful, actually. It's a pretty cool map. I like this. Um, I'm going to show you the vehicle shop, too, because that's pretty cool. There's no... As far as I can tell, there's no actual um, icons where you know you can do stuff. Sort of... So I'm going to try here. I'm going to show you with what I mean with the vehicle shop over here. So this on the left here is the vehicle shop. Um, they seem to specialize in toys for us. Yes. So you open by holding uh, down the right muscles button, mouse button and close by using the left mouse button. See? And here's the pretty cool thing. If you want to... You drive here, you can see the places where you do stuff is marked on the ground, so that's cool. But you need to hold up and get the F1 and see here, so you can configure wheels by pressing R on this press, so the triggers and that. All the triggers are actually described in in the text file which is included. You need to unzip the text file because there's a ferry and then there's a map, so they need to be in the folder separately. But well, that's pretty simple, just accept it. So, and here, you by walking up to this woman, you can activate the shop. You can buy stuff. Right? The shop is act could be activated anywhere. So. Oh, I have to show you the animal dealer also before we go to the island because that's a really cool, cool thing. So really small little village, <coughs> or oh, village, town, town village. I don't know. Let's look up at these places. So the animal dealer is up here.
here. Now you can drive in here and you drive out there. So, which is really cool. And you buy the animals over here. And you can't have them transported to the island, but that costs money, of course. But I want to show you this, this is a cool place. That's actually an auction, auction place here. Oh, that's, I think that's really cool. I don't know what that is, some sort of wheat stuff? I don't know. <coughs> so, if we continue, um, and I do apologize for my voice, it's really not very nice. I drive back to the ferry. I'm going to take the ferry out to the to the island. We do own the ferry, but you can sell it because if you sell it, you can't get off, get off the island. It could maybe rent it. I don't know. I don't know where that would spawn actually. Oh, sorry. So, Bally Castle. Everyone is driving slowly in town, which is probably a good idea. So, it's a pretty cool little town, I think. So anyway, the ferry is down here. And as if there's no sp way of spawning on this map, uh, you need to... I don't know if it, if it saves, please. So start it up and then drive it like any vehicle. And this is a really cool thing. I can go into the little cabin if you want to. So suddenly we're a cabin. I know that there's been other maps where you sort of had um, had boats and that sort of stuff. <coughs> so this is not new, or a ferry, and so this is not new, and that's probably where the ferry is from. But I like this map. This is really, oh, this is a really cool map. Oh, look, I'm there, I'm driving a little boat with my arm out the window. This is cool. Like a little sound too. I mean, it's kind of cool sound. Um, so this is a really cool map. Oh, this is a little slight different. No, the water is a little weird because you can see through it, which is also a very nice effect, which I haven't seen on any other map. You can actually see the ground there, underneath the water. Let's talk to this little boat there. So, shut it off. Go get into our little herdeman. And welcome to Rathlin Island. <coughs> Church town. Okay, so the two m main farms here. I'm just going to show you the BDA first, which is up here. Not there, it's up here. Which is pretty much the only cell point on this map. I haven't seen any cars driving around. So I don't know if there is any cars driving around. But the BJ is up here. So this is, if you want to sell silage, you can sell that here and make money. Basically. Which could be a good way of making money. Uh, you start out with pretty much uh, no vehicles at the boat on this, uh, which is slightly weird, I think. Well, yeah. um, and this, it does make this really hard. Uh, I don't know if it's a difference between, there's a difference on hard mode or not. Oh, sorry. 
Well, it didn't fall over at least. So we'll go down to our our farm first, which no, that's not it. Sorry. No, it's here. Sorry. Um, <coughs> so this is a hard map to play on. So just be prepared for that. It even says that in the description. This is gonna be hard. No, actually, I probably turned the wrong way. Didn't I? Can I cut across somewhere? Maybe not. Mm. Damn it. We'll see where I end up. <laughs> I took the wrong road. I should have gone to... Can I cut across here? Maybe I can. I'm not sure about that though. Probably not. No. Sorry. I'll drive back. So this is basically an, a pretty pretty big island. I mean it's not a small island. In the description it says that um has like 140 people living on it, so which isn't like a huge island, but it's not a small island either. And this is a really hard map to play. Start out with pretty much nothing. You have a load of 100 grand, which I don't really understand why, because we don't own anything. Well, I guess we own the land. We don't own any fields, which means you can basically, well, you can take it out the load and buy stuff, I guess. But otherwise it's kind of hard. Uh, I'm actually thinking about doing a let's play on the map and I'm thinking that I will start out <coughs> with sheep. So I will start out not at this farm but at the sheep farm. I'm going to show you that later. Um, and we'll use some sheep. And then we'll sell the wool and we'll use the wool money to expand slowly over time. So the main farm is here, as it says, you can even assess that on the map, but main farm. So there's a house, place where the cows are, on the left there, there's a silage, silo for this grain, what else do we have here? Oh, there's the pigs, just up ahead. Some storage area. Some more storage area, so lots of storage areas. It's a pretty decent sized farm. A lot of silage areas. Down here, we want to show you the greenhouses, because there's a number of greenhouses over here which are pretty cool. Um, these ones, and uh, they all seem to need manure and water, so we need that. I don't know where to get the water. I haven't found a place to get water yet. But they produce different crops. Strawberries. Exactly what this is. Uh, tomatoes. I think it's mushrooms. Uh, shroom. I don't know if that's supposed to be mash mushroom. Hey, I got a gold nugget. And this is. Um, red cabbage. So we produce different stuff we could, which we can sell in town, but we need um, manure and water. Probably the biggest problem there is getting manure. So I guess, I mean, we should, you could probably work your way up until you get manure, where is the just here it is. But um, it will take a little bit of work to get this 
on going. <clears throat> the author actually said somewhere, in, I read somewhere in the description or in the text file that this map is probably not for everyone. Which I probably could agree with. So that's the main farm. I'm gonna go and look at the sheep farm also. Which is a bit of a drive, but it's not too far. It's a small, it's a pretty small island. Um, but this is a really cool map. <coughs> It's been released on FSUK, so you can download it there. You can download it by the link in the description. Uh, I don't know if this is the sort of map where people would be very excited by it, but um, <coughs> I'm pretty excited by it. Oops, so all of these fields, you don't own any fields. So this is a map where we uh, which is probably either a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. It depends on what sort of <coughs> player you are. But uh, either you could like this map and really enjoy that you have nothing pretty much to start out with, or you will find it very annoying. So if you continue, you see the lighthouse up there, you can go pretty much all the way there. Which is, I think it's called Bull Point or something. We're going to go down here and get to our sheep farm, which is the way I'm, I'm thinking about doing. As I said, I'm doing thinking about doing a let's play, and I'm thinking that I'll probably focus on sheep in the beginning because that's pretty much the only way to make any money, I think. Because I could buy bales or make bales, um, I'll just buy bale mod though. And then I have some sheep, and then I'll produce that, and I will go sell what I get. So I like the sheep, the sheep places. Uh, I can really run down sheep farm. I think this is the way you add food, and this way you add your little sheep. So and you could have them transport out here. But I'm guessing it's probably a better idea to <coughs> to rent um, some sort of transport and transport them yourself. We'll see. So the money we have left when we're done with this. Um, what else to watch? I mean, there's lots of stuff to discover. I just did a quick tour yesterday <coughs> to find everything. Uh, I'll find everything to look at things, and I found a lot of stuff th there. And I haven't discovered everything yet by far. And so this is a map you could do a lot of exploring on. So well, I guess that's pretty much it. Um. Rolling Irish hills here on Rathlin Island, and a pretty cool place. I don't know if it, I have to look it up if it's real. I've been to Ireland five times because my brother used to live there, but um, I'm not sure I've actually. I don't know if it's, it's, is it real. I have to look. Um, that made me curious. Let's see, Rathlin Island. Yes, that is a place. Wrestling Island, where do you go wraps? Okay, so that's okay, where are we in the world? Okay, so it's Northern Ireland. Which I only been once to, so and it's in the north part at the Battle Castle, which is the city there. We, we drive through. It's not <laughs> exactly much farther between the mainland and the farm and the island, I believe. And if you look at the map, it doesn't look exactly like the real thing. Only well, a little bit. But it's not as. Oh. Well, anyway, 
even though it doesn't look exactly right like the real thing it's really cool that it is a real place and uh, I think I know that's pretty cool oh sorry don't hit things Andy <coughs> Oh well, um, I don't know if I've been excited enough. I <laughs> one of the things I did, I got a, got some critique critique for not being for there being boring. But I guess, oh, I I, I don't I can I'm I guess I'm boring now. Damn it, that was the wrong way. The fairies over there. Um, So I guess a pretty cool map, I like this. Weird roundabout. Um, I, I'm guessing if I do a let's play on this, I'm going to probably sell this tractor. Because uh, we need the money and we're going to buy a much cheaper tractor and some equipment and maybe some sheep to start out with first. I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to... back this up onto it because for some reason I couldn't dock the ferry at the other end in this this direction. Which was kinda weird. I don't know why it did, did I tried that. Maybe it's just uh, <coughs> that time or something but I couldn't dock it anyway. For some reason. Either, um, and you need to turn it away around anyway because it moves fast in this direction, which it probably shouldn't. But I like the fact you can actually see the bottom of the sea there. It's see through water. And you look at the steering wheel, it's turning. The rudder, I'm sorry, the steering wheel. The steering wheel is kind of turning, of course, but the rudder is turning too. Okay, anyway, um, I'm going to leave it here. I'll probably see you next time on the first Let's Play in the case I do a Let's Play on this. I haven't a hundred percent decided, but I do think I will do that. So that's it. This has been the Rathlin Island map for Farming Simulator 17. Links are in the description and go get it. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Um But it will be hard. A hard map to play. I read the description, there's lots of information there in the description. I'll have to put everything there. So, have a great day everyone, I'm Andy, if you like this channel please subscribe, if you like this episode please hit like button, leave a comment or share, and I will see you soon, take care, bye bye.